Well hey friends, it is a frugal grocery haul for us this week and I am going to share with you what I picked up for less than $50. My budget was $50 and I came in at $49.32. So let me show you what I got, but first let me just kind of fill you in on what I have already here at my home. I have got several chicken boobs, um, I have got a pound of hamburger, I have a steak, we've got some chicken nuggets, and we've got lots and lots of frozen veggies. We also have some frozen fruit, and as far as the fridge ingredients, we've got um, not much. Um, we've got some sour cream, Greek yogurt, half a dozen eggs, and just some condiments, pickles, that's about it. Um, and as far as snacky foods, um, the kids are out of like their crackers and granola bars and things, so we are out of those. Um, I have a bag of baked tortilla chips for some of my lunches, and that's kind of about it. I do have spaghetti, like pasta and pasta sauce, so we have those things. So that will kind of fill you in. I'll share with you at the end my meal plan, and let me flip you around and show you what I picked up for $49. <laughs> Okay, so I got some Walmart brand cottage cheese, some egg whites, um, some turmeric, 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 um, and onion powder. I needed both of these spices. This will be for a Trim Healthy Mama drink. Um, and then I picked up a box of the Great Value Mixed Berry Bars, some veggie crackers, some animal crackers, um, tortilla chips. These are for part of our meal plan. We got lettuce, uh, tomatoes, a cucumber, and some chicken, lunch meat, and ground beef. And that, my friends, is $50. I will say, actually, we can tack on this to the grocery budget. Um, the kids were out of shampoo. And then um, I paid for this separately, but I also needed some foundation. I'm currently using the Revlon Color Stay. So here is a copy of my receipt, and as you can see, $49.32. Um, here's a look at my meal plan this week. So this weekend we are going to be kind of away from our home, so I don't really need to plan on too many meals as far as Saturday and Sunday is concerned. Today is Friday, and we are having homemade pizza with ingredients that we already have on hand. Saturday we'll be having a barbecue at a camp and we will be with my mother-in-law so I imagine we may just eat at her house. Sunday is sort of the same thing. If we are home I do have chicken and we'll have peas and sweet potatoes. Monday we'll have lazy lasagna. So this is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. It is noodle free um, and that's where the cottage cheese and the ground beef will come in handy. Tuesday we will do taco salad. And I'll use a lot of the ingredients that I already have on hand, but um, the kids will probably put theirs over tortilla chips. Um, so then, Wednesday we're going to do loaded spaghetti squash casserole. I already have the spaghetti squash, and it, um, I'm not sure what all is in, in it, but I think it's cheese and maybe their sour cream or Greek yogurt sort of base. Um, I will add chicken as a protein, and then I will do some frozen green beans. Thursday, we will do steak salad with the steak that is in the freezer. Friday, it's pizza night always, so we will do either homemade pizza or some sort of pizza-type meal. Saturday, we will do leftovers. And on Tuesday, my husband will actually get paid, so, um, you know, I can kind of tweak this if I need to. Um, and then, so for some of the things that I want to make this week, I need some sweets in my house that are good for me, that are Trim Healthy Mama sweets. So I'm either going to do black bottom cupcakes, which is like sort of like a cheesecake cupcake with a chocolate bottom, so delish, um, or I'll do magic bars, which is... Um, I don't know, it's like a, a cookie crumble with like um, chocolate and nuts and it's all Trim Healthy Mama friendly. It's super duper good. Um, I'm going to make some muffins for my family. I'll likely maybe do some egg salad uh, as far as um, meals for lunches. I'm not positive because we don't have many eggs and I do like to eat eggs for breakfast. That's a maybe. And then I put down brownies if I need another dessert, which I probably won't because those... What, two things are quite a bit. Um, 
I'll just decide between those three which I want to make. Um, and the brownies, again, are a Trim Healthy Mama recipe, and they actually have um, okra in them, which is kind of funny, but they are so good, and you'd never know that they weren't fudgy and delicious. Okay, so for lunches, um, I kind of just do what's on the fly. We kind of just have, you know, lunch food handy. But in case I'm stuck for some ideas, we always do have some chicken nuggets in the freezer. Um, I can do nachos for the kids and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. For breakfast, we have a lot of different options. Of course, there's always oatmeal, cereal, some muffins, um, smoothies with Greek yogurt, pancakes, and then for myself, a muffin in a mug, which is a trim, healthy mama sort of thing, and I would do some Greek yogurt for protein, and likely some frozen berries on the side. And then some drinks that I'm hoping to have this week are Singing Canary, which is a, which will be for the, um, the turmeric, and that is sort of a sweet, kind of like, um, Tastes like a orange creamsicle drink, and it's really good for your adrenals. And then Good Girl Moonshine, which is an um, apple cider vinegar drink, which is so, so stinking good. And just makes your skin so clear and um, gives you a lot of good energy. And then a frat, fat stripping frappa, which is another really good <laughs> drink. Again, all trim healthy mama. So that is what our meal plan is looking like. It's pretty frugal, pretty good, and I think we're going to be okay with $50 this week.